Yawns are quite the mysterious things, as we don't know for sure what the purposes of them are. That being said, we do have some pretty good guesses and theories as to why we yawn, so let's dive into it and answer the question, why do we yawn? Humans aren't the only things that yawn. Plenty of other mammals like domestic cats, lions, monkeys, and ponies all yawn too. Even though so many species of animals do yawn, the purpose is still a little hazy, so before we jump into that, let's talk about what a yawn actually is. A yawn is a reflex consisting of the act of inhaling air while stretching the eardrums that is then followed by an exhale of air. Now with that out of the way, let's get on to the theories. One popular theory states that we yawn to draw in more oxygen or remove carbon dioxide from our blood, and this might help explain why we yawn more in bigger groups. If there's more than one person in a group, more carbon dioxide is being breathed out, and that CO2 is then being breathed in by the others. To get rid of that abundance, we yawn. Sounds like a pretty good start, but this thing isn't foolproof. If we yawn to get more oxygen, why don't we yawn while exercising, and why don't we yawn after we hold our breath underwater? Theory 2 goes a more evolutionary path, and it says that we simply yawn to show our teeth and intimidate predators. I'm not too keen on this one, but it's a theory nonetheless. The last theory says that we yawn to cool our brain, and this theory comes about because we tend to yawn when our brain is hotter. Even though a correlation exists, there seems no reason to cool the brain, since cool brains don't focus any better than warmer brains. So this one, although it might be true, doesn't really have a purpose to it. And now for a cool little fact I found while researching. Autistic children are actually less likely to yawn when somebody else yawns, unlike us, because they lack social interaction skills. Now here's the cool part. Because of this, doctors are thinking that someday they could use this information to diagnose cognitive disabilities in the future. Pretty cool. To date, there's also some research that says that if you talk about yawning, read about yawning, or listen to yawning, you'll be more likely to yawn yourself. So I'm just curious, you guys, watching this video, did you guys ever yawn? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see some other content by Science Saturdays, be sure to click on the pictures below. Thanks for watching. Science Saturdays, bringing free education to the modern world.